Hello everyone and welcome back to the third part tutorial of how to model the island. Uh, I'm gonna continue here and I will choose to do some random stuff. I have a lot of in mind, uh, a lot in mind and I don't know, <laughs> it just, uh, I don't want to lose some ideas. So let's just continue and do whatever we, uh, whatever I will just show you. So, well, I created a cube, but I don't want a cube. I want to take one of these here. Okay. And what I will do here is I'm gonna duplicate this thing and I'm gonna move it just here like so and I'm gonna scale this up using the vertices and just stretch this to about so like that okay I'm gonna press F8 to bring it back to object mode Control D to duplicate this and move it to the other side here and I will take one plank here, control D to duplicate it, move it along up here and switch to rotation tool, hold down the J key, rotate it that way and this way we will basically have some sort of gate here. Oh sorry, I've done something wrong, let's press F8 to bring it back to object mode. Gonna squeeze this a little bit, move it here. And there I will put it there you see in this fashion control D to duplicate it move it to the other side we will have two of them there I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna right click choose vertices I'm gonna stretch this one a little bit there and this one a little bit there so I will delete the other one and just duplicate this one so this one, control D, duplicate this, and if you choose you can make it a little bit higher, I guess a little bit higher it will be fine. And you want to stick this to the ground, so just pull these vertices and just uh, insert them inside that way. These two, these vertices of this side, press F8 to bring it back to object mode, that should be nice. Now, it doesn't have to be that uh, thick, so either you will duplicate it and do like doubles, I don't know, just to add some more character to it. And Okay, so now I'm gonna take a cube, I'm gonna create a cube, and this cube will be there, so I'm gonna scale my handles of the move tool for the move tool and bring this cube here scale it up a little bit and I want to place this thing here uh, this area okay now I will use the uh, you know one of the scalp tools in order to um, flat this area here so let's try with the wax tool and shift now I'll try to flat this area a little bit Okay, so, all right, maybe bring this up a little bit here, like so, all right, let's continue with the cube, switch to selection tool, grab the cube, and what I will do here is I'm going to create sort of a generator here, so I'm going to grab these vertices of the cube, and squeeze them a little bit so it will get this shape okay um, I will lower it down some and press F8 bring it back to object mode I'm gonna lift it up a little bit like so right click choose face I'm gonna grab this face there okay and I'm gonna extrude it downwards so click extrude hopefully it's had only one division of extrusion and I'm going to switch immediately to move tool and, and push this down downwards. So that way we have this here and this will be stretched a little bit like so. I'm going to move it along here, maybe scale this down a little bit more. Yeah, we need to maintain proportion. So I'm trying to do my best here with this. 
all right, like so. I'm gonna add some uh, edge loops in order to create something. So uh, this will need uh, a little bit to work. So shift right click, choose insert edge loop. Okay, let's options, let's do options. We set the tool, so that way you, we only want add one in a time, in a time, one at a time, okay. And you know what, first, sorry, I'm gonna bring, bring it back to object mode, choose edge, grab this edge, control right click, and if you hold them both together, you will see this menu, and choose edge ring utilities to edge ring and split. This will create uh, a split according to the edge that you selected, okay? So if I would select this and do that, it will create an edge that way, okay? Crossing that way. So basically after you done this one time, you can only, you can just press G on your keyboard and it, it will uh, do the same. So I can like do here one, select this edge, press G, and it will repeat the last function that I've done. So right now this edge is loop selected, shift double click on this one, and you can use the scale tool to bring them to about so. And I'm gonna add two more, so I'm gonna grab this one, press G, this one, press G. It's still the last function, so we can use the G, and I'm gonna bring those two here, near, to the center one, okay? Now, I'm gonna grab one of these and press G, so it will create this one, and I will be able to move this downwards if I will hold on the shift right click and choose slide edge tool. Now, with this, if I middle mouse click, hold and drag the wheel, okay, the wheel of your mouse, and drag, you can see it remains, it's just sliding over all those edges, it's not uh, forming them uh, as if I would take the move tool and do something such as this, okay? So this is why we are using the slide tool. So I'm gonna undo that just to bring it back to what I've just show you. Control right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split because the last function became the slide option. And then I will slide this down a little bit so. And you can grab this Control right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split, and middle mouse click, hold and drag, because we are still on the slide. If you are not in the slide uh, option, just shift right click and choose it, okay? Now, every time you move it, you can make a big moves, but sometimes it will just snap, you see? So if you want to get closer, you need to sometimes release the middle mouse button, and then click again, and then move it slightly more, and then re release again and move it slightly more. So that way it's much more controlled. Okay, see? All right. Now I'm gonna add one more edge, maybe two later on, but we'll see. Shift right click, insert edge loop. I'm gonna add one edge loop here, okay? Now these two, uh, they are like doors, okay, that open up, um, well, open in the up direction, like, you know, those fancy cars. So I just wanna grab this one. Sorry, I will grab only this window here. And what I will do, I will simply press delete to delete this thing, okay? And with this one, I will grab this face and this face and this face, okay? I'm gonna click extrude once and See, I have the handles here on top of this face. Now I want to make sure that they are still there. So what I'm doing here is I'm tapping, tapping on one of those cubes and then grab, you just click and release on this one or this one or this one and then you will get the middle one. You grab the middle one and you click, hold and drag it so you will have this nice little frame there. Now you will click extrude again and this is applied to the to all of them that has been selected okay so i'm pushing it inside a little bit and then extrude it once more tap on one of them grab the middle one squeeze it inside just like i did with this frame 
here. So I'm squeezing and creating a frame there. Now I don't want this frame to be that noticeable. I just want it to be a thin, very thin frame. Now if you are not managing to do this, then leave it, okay? But you can use the scale axis to modify it a little bit more gently like but anyway we want to make it even frame let's undo that <laughs> and simply uh, click extrude again and move it outside like so and now what I will do I will go over mesh and choose to poke face edit mesh poke this will poke this face in that way so you're familiar with this uh, I hope so that in some sort of pl uh, metal plates like doors like that you can pull this just to add a little bit bevel to this and then you can do this also to this one and to that one so it's not flat it has some bevel to it now we will uh, deal with this one, okay, these faces here. So I'm going to press F8, shift right click, uh, no, you know what, right click, choose edge, grab this edge, control right click, edge ring, utilities to edge ring and split, and then I will double click on this edge, shift right click, bevel edge. This will, uh, it will create two uh, edge loops out of one, and it will put them in the center like, in equal distance from each other. So what you can do here is either grab these, uh, you can either, sorry, use this uh, fraction in order to move them a little bit uh, away from each other. You can add segments, but we want only two, so it's set to one. And you can simply grab, double click on this one, shift right click, and you know what? No, let's do this that way. I'm gonna grab these vertices, okay, see? And I'm gonna move them towards there. And then I will bring these, making sure that I'm grabbing only those that I need and move them close, but making sure that I'm creating this frame here. You see, this is a frame. So I want it to be somewhat equal and here, we already got to the point where it should be. So what I will do, I will control unselect these vertices and these vertices there. Oh, this one haven't been gone together with those. So let's do it all over. I'm gonna grab these, making sure that I selected every each one of them. Move this towards here, making sure the frame is even in size. Well, you can use the side view, I guess. And then control to unselect this, control to unselect these, and move those accordingly there. See? So, no, oh, I have a little bit problem there. And we will do the same here. So, I'm going to grab all the top ones, move them near just make sure you have here somewhat uh, equal square like then grab those see I collected those as well I don't want them so control to unselect those and then move this here and then let's see okay control unselect these control unselect these move this here, that's cool. Press F8. I'm gonna bring this up the entire shape. Shift right click, insert edge loop. I'm gonna insert one edge loop here. So I will add this frame here. Now, if it's not exactly where it should be, Control Z to undo and then fix this. So now we have this plate here that we can do the same as we did with those three there. Okay, so I'm Grabbing these, extrude. Now you tap on one of those cubes, middle mouse, click, hold, and drag the middle one. 
Now you can see that here, down here, we don't have any frame. So you either grab this one and squeeze it down, okay, so it will create the frame down there, but now I will manually have to deal with those, okay? Now this is not a problem, but just make sure you do it, okay? Uh, I'm gonna bring those upwards, back upwards. So you see I have this inner frame there, and now that I tweak this, uh, it's much more easier for me to continue from there. I can grab these, sorry, grab, grab the frame, shift double click on the frame, so you see it's selected in a loop. Shift double click this one, shift double click on this one, it will select this as a loop. And this time we will simply take the frame inside instead of doing this entire uh, procedure that I have done earlier with the doors. Okay, so we have this that way. Okay, press F8, bring it back to object mode. Great. So um, now we want to create uh, a lift, you know, so sort of uh, loft, well, lift door, uh, you know, like lift it up. So I will need to um, focus on how to create this interior of this thing. Now we're just interested in this hole to be as something that we can. Uh, you know, uh, see inside, but I don't care for the rest of what is going on there. So we'll simply go and grab this frame here, double click on the frame like that, okay? Extrude this, and I will switch to move tool, and then pull those inside like that. Now uh, you don't want to pull them backwards that much, they will pop out from here, but right now I will do this, and what I will do here is I'm gonna set these two sharp pointy uh, edges to the angle of this area here. So I'm right clicking, choosing vertices, grabbing these two, and I'm trying to create this as, as the camera, as I see it with the camera, so it will be with the same alignment, and that way I know that I can grab, I can right click choose edge, double click on this edge, choose mesh, fill hole, and then I will simply grab this face here and move it inside, just a little bit inside. After you pass the wall like this, walls, just make sure it's a little bit more inside and it's not intersecting with other areas here. Press F8, bring it back to object mode, and that's cool. So, right now, um, th there are, you know what, th there, are another, there is another option. It's either you grab this <coughs> and maybe move it back, and then grab this edge here, and just fixing this as like a flat uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, like control, controller, plate, tablet, or table. So, yeah, let's keep it that way. And, yeah, I think that this is it for this part. We will continue at the next part. And let's save this file, save scene as. I call it island 3, save as. And I will see you at the next part. Thank you for watching, have a good day, and see you at the next part. Bye.